What if genes weren't stuck in one place? What if they could actually move around inside your DNA? It might sound like something straight out of science fiction, but it's a real biological phenomenon. Today on 3 Minute Studio, we're diving into the story of Barbara McClendick, the revolutionary scientist who discovered these jumping genes, also known as transposons. Barbara McClintock was born in the United States in 1902 from a young age. She had a deep passion for science, which was unusual for women at the time. Society often pushed women away from research, careers, but McClintock's determination was unshakable. She followed her curiosity and became a brilliant geneticist, dedicating her life to unraveling the secrets of how genes work. Her big breakthrough came in the 1940s while she was studying something you might see every day. Corn, McClintock noticed something incredibly odd about the color patterns on corn kernels. The colors weren't following the standard rules of inheritance. She realized that certain genes weren't fixed in place on the chromosome, they were physically moving to new locations. These jumping genes could land near other genes and act like a switch, turning them on or off. This explained the mosaic of colors she was seeing in the corn. She called this process transposition. It was a groundbreaking idea that completely challenged the long-held belief that the genome was a static, unchanging blueprint. But the scientific community wasn't ready for such a radical concept for years. Most scientists dismissed her work, her ideas were considered too strange. And because she worked mostly alone, it was easy for her findings to be ignored, it took decades for technology and research to catch up. Finally, in the 1970s, other scientists started finding jumping genes everywhere in bacteria, flies, other plants, and even in humans, Barbara McClintock had been right all along. Her discovery was more than just a quirky fact about corn. We now know that transposons are a major force in evolution, creating genetic diversity and sometimes contributing to diseases. They are a fundamental tool in modern genetics and biotechnology in 1983. Nearly 40 years after her initial discovery, Barbara McClintock was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. She received it alone, a testament to her singular genius. From the quiet cornfields to the world's most prestigious scientific honor, Barbara McClintock's persistence completely changed our understanding of life's code. For more incredible stories, behind science's greatest minds, make sure you subscribe to 3 Minute Studio. Thanks for watching.